Do you like armored vehicles? Well, if your answer is yes, you've clicked on the right video. If your answer is no, then prepare to change your mind because today we have gathered for you the top 10 newest military vehicles that are so cool, you're gonna need a blanket while watching. Hey, you'll also need the blanket because of our cold jokes, but whether they're used for defense or attack, these 10 military vehicles are sure to make you wonder how inspired the people were while creating them and that maybe a career in the Army is worth it just for the purpose to be close to one of these. Ready to be amazed? Well, let's go. Number one's the Kyler. Now, if you're familiar with our channel, you know we absolutely love to play with words and make awkward puns. If you're not, well, welcome. We have fun here. So Kyler might have the same name, although spelled differently, but it's actually like an anti-killer since it's a mind clearing vehicle. Now, don't leave us just yet. No more weird jokes. We uh, almost promise. Kyler was developed by Rheimatol in Germany to meet German army requirements, and it's a conversion of the M48 Patton medium tank chassis in combination with a German MTU MB 871KA501 liquid cooled turbocharged diesel engine. What does that mean? It means it's a super strong vehicle with a sole purpose of clearing a lane through a minefield so the soldiers can have safe passage. Kyler can clear a lane 4.7 meters wide and 120 meters long in 10 minutes. Wow! Also, being the good guy, Kyler doesn't have any defensive weapons except its smoke grenade dischargers. Oh, isn't that sweet? Number two is the Caspian Sea Monster. Monsters and sea are two things we don't like combined, yet here we are. Caspian Sea Monster was a ground effect vehicle developed in the Soviet Union by Central Hydrofoil Design Bureau, and it remained the heaviest aircraft in the world throughout its 15-year service life. You may wonder why it's on our list since it was destroyed in 1980. Well, two reasons. First off, how cool is it? Am I right? And second, the actual reason is that it rose from the grave only last year and took its final journey with a little help from its friends to a stretch of coast near Russia's southernmost point. Ground effect vehicles, also known as ekranoplans, are a mixture between airplanes and ships, meaning they move over the water without actually touching the water. By seeing this monster, it's hard to imagine it could ever float on the sea, let alone fly, but that was the purpose and it succeeded in being both stealthy and fast, which was a combination that the United States really didn't like when they first saw it in 1967. They were the ones that named it the Caspian Sea Monster, but they didn't have a chance to destroy it. Its own pilot managed to do it. What an end for this formidable sea monster. Getting a taste of what's to come will stay with us cause you ain't seen nothing yet, my friends. The best are yet to come. Number three is the M3 Amphibious Rig. Also known as the M3 Amphibious Bridging and Ferrying System, this amazing vehicle can ferry vehicles, and when we say vehicles, we even count tanks across bodies of water. And as the name suggests, when it's on the water, it uses two large aluminum pontoons that create buoyancy. And when it's on the land, it's your not so average four-wheeled vehicle. But this helpful vehicle doesn't end there. Apart from the fact it can be used as a ferry, if you couple together several M3s, they can create a heavy load bridge. 24 crew can construct a 100 meter bridge from eight vehicles in approximately 15 minutes. Now that's a helpful fella if I ever saw one. Number four is the Finnick. If you like to play shooter games, you've probably seen something like this in your online adventures. The Finnick is a wheeled arm reconnaissance vehicle that is named after the Finnick Fox, which is a tiny desert fox. And it's the cutest thing ever. And yeah, we're sliding off topic. Back to the Finnick we go then. It was developed for both the German Army and Royal Netherlands Army to replace their current vehicles, and it's operated by a three-man crew and deployed in units of two vehicles. A scout party equipped with this vehicle would be able to operate independently for a period of up to five days, which makes this little, <laughs> well, for little, it weighs 10 tons, Fox a very useful vehicle to have in the Army. The Fennec has four wheels with selectable two or four wheel drive, and it has a Dutes diesel engine producing 179 kilowatts, giving it a top speed of 115 kilometers per hour. Are you having fun? Well, make sure to check out the other videos on the channel and don't forget to hit that like button. Your support is for us what those military vehicles are to the Army. Number five is the Striker. I, in the list of all the cool name vehicles, we proudly add the mighty Striker. 
Stryker is not an only child, as so many others in the list are. It actually has a long list of siblings, and they're all part of the family of eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicles derived from the Canadian LAV-3. Even though a military vehicle doesn't need a reason to be named Stryker, this one does have a very good one. It's named for two unrelated U.S. soldiers who posthumously received the Medal of Honor. One is Private First Class Stuart S. Stryker, who died in World War II. And number two is Specialist Four Robert F. Stryker, who died in the Vietnam War. The Stryker siblings have four-wheel drive, eight by four, and can be switched to all-wheel drive, eight by eight. The Stryker family might not be new, been in service since 2002, but the U.S. Army plans to improve the fleet of Stryker vehicles with the introduction of improved semi-active suspension, modifications reshaping the hull into a shallow V-shaped structure to protect against improvised explosive devices, and the family name will continue to shine. Number six is the M104 Wolverine. This baby right here takes the prize for the best name ever in any vehicle. But what does it do? Well, let's play a game, shall we? Pause the video now, go to the comment section, and write your answer. No cheating, are you ready to see the actual answer? Well, if you know your military vehicles, you probably guess right, but if you don't, you don't have much of a chance. The M104 Wolverine Armored Bridge Layer, and you heard me correctly, is designed to carry, in place, and retrieve an assault bridge in combat conditions. The Laguan aluminum bridge is made of four interchangeable sections and it's four meters wide and weighs 10.9 tons. Is your mouth open wide in awe? Not yet? Well, how about this fact? The Wolverine lays a heavy assault bridge within four minutes and it takes up to 10 minutes to recover the bridge. Layering and recovery of the bridge is done under armor without leaving the vehicle. Yep, its name is not the only cool thing about it, folks. Number seven is the Crusher. The story goes like this. There were some researchers at Carnegie Mellon University's National Robotics Engineering Center for DARPA, which thought it would be an excellent idea to create a 13,200 pound autonomous off-road unmanned ground combat vehicle. Thus, the Crusher was born. Even though it's a follow-up on the previous spinner vehicle, the Crusher has unique characteristics like you don't wanna see it coming towards you Ever. and it also resembles some kind of humongous hungry monster that'll stop at nothing until it goes where it's supposed to. Yeah, you guessed it, we're absolutely terrified of this thing. It was commissioned by DARPA to provide combat troops with durable cargo and surveillance options. The fact it can operate mostly autonomously, even in rough terrain, makes it the perfect military and scary for everybody else. The Notorious Crusher is powered by a series of electric motors whose batteries are charged with a turbo diesel generator, giving it a top speed of 26 miles per hour, and it manages to avoid obstacles using an array of cameras. You stay away from us, you hear? Well, we've made it to the final three. Are you psychologically prepared to see the coolest things ever and hear us say cool even 70, 80 more times? Well, we hope you are because away we go. Number eight is the Viking, and although its proper name is the BVS-10, we like Viking for obvious reasons. So this Viking might not have a long beard and drink a lot, but it's just as dangerous. It is a fully amphibious armored all-terrain vehicle that consists of two tracked vehicle units linked by a steering mechanism. See, it's already badass. I mean, also quite popular, it has more than 11,000 vehicles in service in 40 countries, and that's a lot of freaking Vikings. Okay, all right, we'll stop. Maybe, uh, maybe. Although it does have some similarities, the main differences from the older BB-206s are a more powerful Cummins, come in there Cummins, 5.9 liter diesel engine, improved ground clearance, newly developed chassis, powertrain, and steering units that give the vehicle considerably enhanced speed and comfort on road and terrain, as well as greater load carrying capability and the ability to add various modular subsystems, such as add-on armor, weapon mounts, a load changer, and cargo platforms. Plus, you know, they added the super cool name, and don't forget it's got a Cummins. Number nine is the Jahannam Launcher. The actual name of this thing is the Joberia Defense Systems Multiple Cradle Launcher, but by the time you finish saying the name, you've already launched the rocket. So Emirati made multiple rocket launchers and not only unique to the UAE Army, it's also the world's largest rocket artillery. 
well, by tube count at least. It can accommodate a crew of three. It has 240 barrels, a rate of fire that's two rounds per second, a maximum firing range of 37 kilometers. And now let's say what we're all thinking. It looks like it belongs to the Mad Max universe. It's developed by a joint venture between Al Jabbar Land System and Rakistan. And let's just say the manufacturers probably had one single instruction before making the vehicle. Make something that causes destruction of the highest order. It's got four rocket launchers attached to the trailer, each carrying 60 122 millimeter rockets. And the system fires Rakistan 122 millimeter T122 Sakaira rockets fitted with a high explosive warhead that can be detonated by using either a point detonating fuse or a proximity fuse. We're going to calmly step away. Well, number 10, here we go. It's the Barris 8x8. Well, the Barrys have been through a lot to prove they are worthy to be in the Hall of Fame of the best military vehicles. They were tested in temperatures between negative 45 and negative 60 degrees centigrade, for crying out loud. And they succeeded in being accepted into Kazakhstan's armed forces. If you think this is one of the military vehicles without a cool name, well, think again. The word berries refers to snow leopard in the local language, but the name is not the only cool thing about it. Don't worry. Check it out. The main armament of the vehicle is an AU-220M remote-controlled turret system fitted with a 57mm automatic cannon, 7.62mm machine gun, smoke grenade launchers, and targeting systems. Want yet another cool thing? Well, we've got it. Well, that is, Barry's has it. Anyway, it features a 12 kilowatt air conditioner and climate control system, which allows the troops inside to operate in extreme temperatures without freezing to death, that is. Well, there you have it for today, and those are the top 10 newest military vehicles that are absolutely insane. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, turn on those notifications so you'll be the first one to see the latest videos. And let us know in the comments how many times we said the word cool or some variation today, and which one was your favorite vehicle on the list. We will see you next time.